Okay, this video, I'm going to show you how to solve or find a person problem, any person problem given to you, okay, or thrown out to you. So we have very basic three different kind of person problem. And I have one extra, uh, which is going to be number one, similar to number one, but it's written in different form. So you will see that, okay. Now, well, before I start, let me, uh, you know, tell you what is the proportion mean proportion is basically if you assume two ratios or is equal or two fractions are assumed to be equal we call it proportion and in pro proportion we can cross product now amount by base equal to percent over 100 so well in this case even though we have a fraction we are total in this case can be maximum well we use as a hundred percentage is maximum is 100 here okay so on the bottom is that's the total here okay now base is basically the of and amount is basically the is so why i'm using this one to the right side because this is what you're going to see in the problem most often okay so you basically look for those and i'm going to help you to identify those where they're located and how you could plug it into the proportion okay so let's go to the next problem okay so this problem here as you see first one right what is 75 percent of 5000 okay so i will have 75 well let's take a look here this one is not known so i assume this is going to be my x so this is the is we don't know that and that is the percentage so we know let's right away we put down 75 over 100 right away because percentage means per 100 as soon as you see this symbol right percentage symbol you divide by 100 and the of that is given so of is 5000 so here you go we're going to plug this in so is we don't know that's x and of is 5000 okay of is 5000 very nice then we just cross product as you see right cross product some of you like that cross product right so what i'm going to do here is basically i'm going to do 100 times x i want to have my variable on the left side that's always lovely right 100x is equal to 5 times 75 you can multiply whole number with whole number 5 times 75 is going to give you 375 okay 375 now what happened to the zeros of course we have to put down the zeros how many zeros is that three zeros okay three zeros so it's basically 375,000 okay now we're going to divide by 100 so if you divide by 100 in both side remember what we do one side you should do in both side okay so that would give you x and of course the other side i'm going to go a little bit to the right side and that x is equal to if you divide well that's the beauty of zeros one zero one zero cancel out one zero one zero cancel out that is basically power of 10 you divide by 10 okay so what is left over here now left over is 300 sorry 3750 3750 or 3750 so again the question is asking for a missing number and percentage is given so in the answer we don't put any percentage some student mistakenly put some percentage and of course answer is going to be wrong so we are looking for a missing number okay that's beautiful let's take a look on the next problem here okay so next problem is basically asking us 230 is 15% of what? Again, let's take a look here. So they give you is, they give you the is, okay? Percentage is known. Of, in this case, is missing. Is missing. Okay, missing. All right, so let's take a look here. How can we do that, right? So 15%, right? Oh, you know what? I'm going to put down 15 over 100. That's, that's 15% equal to is so is is 230 over x x is missing in this case okay x is missing so i'm going to actually cross product here okay i'm going to cross product here so if i cross product is going to give me 15x is equal to 15x is equal to 23 well and of course we have a three zero okay clearly you see three zeros so 15x equal to 23,000. And then of course, we're gonna divide by 15. We're gonna divide by 15 in both sides. What we do one side, we must do the same thing on both sides. So that gets canceled. 
and I'm going to write down to the right side actually here. So if you divide 23,000 by 15, it should give you a little bit bigger number, which is a 1533.33. Again, you write your answer according to the question asked you. If you do any online based homework, right, or any and you know in a quiz or test your professor look into the direction actually if direction says round to the nearest whole number you would do 1533 if this is 10th you go up to 3 if you say 100 you go to more decimals so that is how you actually work it out okay that's lovely let's go to the next problem here okay so number three what is number three says number three says what percent of 28 is 12? So it's the same method, but this time we don't see the symbol. So guess what? Something is missing here, right? Percentage, percent is missing, but we know of and we know is, okay? So we are going to actually work it out here. So percent is missing. So I can actually do this X over, I can actually do X over 100, X over 100 equal to, now, Clearly, you see off is 28, so off goes on the bottom, that's the base, okay? And ease is 12, which is the amount, so is amount goes on the top. Very lovely, right? You see, you follow what I did, what I did. Okay, so then we cross multiply. It's almost same concept, actually, as you see. If you understand one, you can actually do any problem given to you, okay, thrown to you. So we do 28x, we do 28x, 28x equal to 12 hundred okay then obviously we're going to divide as like as before we did 28 so divide this and we are going to have x equal to 1200 divided by 28 you do the long division right if you do the long division it should give you 42.9 percentage here you go because this time we are looking for percentage and i want to be very specific here Usually, if they ask you the percentage, we always go to 10th place, one decimal after the number, okay? So 10th place, 42.9. Unless otherwise question structure to convert into whole, I mean, has a, have as a whole number, you just do that. Otherwise, leave as a one decimal, which is nearest 10th. This is called 10th place, okay? 10th, T-N-T-H-S, 10th place, okay. The last one. Well, last one is basically is the same as the number one. Last one is same as number one. Well, how? Let me see. Some books and, you know, most, you know, if you come along with this kind of problem, well, you're going to say, how do you do that? So this one, look at that. There is no symbol here, right? There is no symbol. Yes. But the thing is, what is, question is asking. Question is asking, what is 20% of 55? So look at this, guys. Off is known. Okay. Off is known what is that is unknown that is not known we don't know that okay but this is 20 percent already given so this is like 20 percent it's like that okay so there is something you have to pay attention in this problem that's why i brought up this problem here okay so 20 percent so 20 over 100 so we're going to do 20 over 100 20 over 100 okay equal to what is x over 55 okay so that is like you know first problem you have seen or you can just small some of you say oh just i just multiply it yeah you can do that do so actually if you do arithmetic way right so i'm going to cross multiply here cross multiply here okay cross multiply okay if you cross multiply it's going to be 100x 100x equal to 55 times 2 which is 110 110 remember don't forget about another zero divided by 100 divided by 100 x equal to a nice number 11 because you see the power of 0 one zero one zero one zero one zero and 11 left over so this is what is missing in this problem again we don't want to put any percentage here. That is going to be wrong because they already give us 20%. Question doesn't ask you percentage. Question didn't say what percent? No. Question said what is? So that is the missing. 11 is 20% of 55. 
I hope you understand. If you like it, you can share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.